You guys haven't seen us in the kitchen for a while because we've been doing just normal taste tests recently, but we decided it was about time to get back in the kitchen to do some cooking. So today we are going to definitively determine who is the better chef between Gordon Ramsay and Jamie Oliver. And we're going to be doing that by making one of their most simple recipes, scrambled eggs. And if you guys are new to our channel or for whatever reason just haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do that. It really helps support us and we upload every single Friday. All right, let's move over to the stove because that's where Gordon Ramsay gets started. Let's do it. Like I mentioned, we are getting started with Gordon Ramsay's egg recipe and this of course has eggs in it. And then he also uses butter. He uses some chives, sour cream, and then of course salt and pepper. So he starts out with three eggs into the pan. And he says, do not um, put it on heat yet because he wants um, that to break down with the butter right. um, as it's being heated. So, and I can't remember if we said this, but um, they don't give very good instructions. There's not an actual recipe for this. It's just right. a video that we're following. So he doesn't say exactly how much butter, but he says like a glob of butter. Which Basically, is yeah. About a tablespoon and a half is what it looked like to me. So that's what we're putting in there. Yes, yeah, so after you get your three eggs and a glob of butter, go ahead and turn on the heat. And he says to use a generous amount of heat. So we're going around six out of 10 right. on our burner. And then he does say that we're not gonna do this quite yet. We're gonna stir it up, but he does say that this is supposed to be taken off the heat quite frequently and stirred up. Um, so you put it on the heat, you take it off the heat. So we're gonna get this butter melted in here. It's also important to mention not to season the eggs with salt or pepper yet, because if you do that, then it will break down the eggs, I think he said, and it won't taste as good. Right, which is different from Jamie Oliver's recipe, which you'll see in a few minutes. Right. Um, he actually does salt it right away. All right, so we're still trying to get this butter melted in here. Yeah. And it's already starting to kind of cook the yep. eggs. I think you should take it off the heat so, for a second yep. now. Let's take it off. Right. And keep stirring while it's off the heat. I think it's looking good. And these eggs, when they are finished, they're um, what I would call... Not well done. <laughs> Definitely. So, they're not like a solid mass like normal eggs that I would make. I think just here in America, the scrambled eggs we make are different than in England, um, which is the style that he did. And so they're, um, they kind of have, they're not runny, but how would they're you- They're just very soft. Yeah, they're very soft. Yeah. And they're not super solid. Right. And it, he does pretty much stir these almost constantly. I think so. Put them back on the burner now. And by the way, we are going to put the links to both of the um, recipes that we do on our in, in the description so you guys can follow along and make these sometime yourself if you'd like to. So take it off a little bit, mm -hmm. keep stirring. And I think it'll go back on one or two more times. Yep, it's looking pretty liquidy still. Yeah. Um, so Maybe scrape the sides. Yep, good idea. And um, actually both Jamie Oliver and Gordon Ramsay say to use a rubber spatula, so that's what we're using. Yes. Okay, they're, All right, starting, there we to, go. they're starting to clump up a little that's bit. That's right. Okay, it's pretty close. I'm gonna put it back on the heat for just yep. another Yeah, and I would moment. just say not really long at all because his were almost like that when he took it off the heat for the last time. Okay. And he just let them cook. As he said, the heat is on the bottom of the pan, so they continue to cook yeah. while they're off the heat. Okay. So I would take them off now. Okay. And this is not how we do it, so we might be a little bit uncomfortable with this, yeah. but we're just <laughs> going what, with Gordon Ramsay says. All right, let's get a half, I think he says half tablespoon of sour cream, or yes. as he calls it, creme, creme fresh. fresh. Creme fresh. Yeah, you're right. This is this is pretty close to how they look. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, right that's there. Good, right there. So we'll go ahead and, and drop that in. We're gonna and put that under the camera so they can see. There we go. Stir that in, and then once that is all mixed in, then we'll go ahead and add the salt, pepper, and then afterwards the chives. All right, let's do it. Ready for some salt? Yep. Throw it in there. How much shall I do? That's good. All right. And then he also said a little bit of pepper, so we'll go ahead and do two of those. That's good. And then once you stir that around a little longer, we'll add in these chives. All right. Yeah. All right. Here throw we the go. chives in there. 
That's probably good. All righty. I would say these turned out pretty close to what his looked like. Yeah, I think so they're pretty good. I think we did a pretty good job. Do you remember, does he cook these, um, does he let them sit in the pan a little I bit think, longer? I think we should let them sit for just maybe just a, a minute. Okay, sounds good. And maybe while we're doing that, we can kind of get ready for the next recipe. Yes. Jamie Oliver. So for Jamie Oliver's recipe, he uses four <clears throat> eggs, and he goes a little more simple than Gordon Ramsay because he doesn't use the chives or the creme fraiche, as he calls it, which right. we just assumed was sour cream. Maybe it is something different, but it looked like sour cream I'm pretty us. sure it's just sour so, cream. Um, he just uses the eggs, butter, and then salt and pepper. That's right. And he mixes these up in a bowl and puts the salt and pepper in, and I think the butter. Yes. Or does he drop the I butter think, into I the pan? I think he uses the butter in the pan, but okay. he does salt and pepper in the bowl before he even turns the heat on, so Gordon yeah. Ramsay would not be very happy about nope. that. All right, well, let's get started with that one. So like I mentioned, Jamie Oliver uses four. He says you can actually do it by two eggs, and he uses four in the video, so. Yeah. Got two. And three, and one four. more. All right, so we've been letting Gordon Ramsay's eggs sit for just a minute, and they're looking pretty good, actually. Yep. They're still not as cooked as I would eat them, but yeah, they're, they are kind of like mushy and have a different consistency what I'm used to, but they're looking good. We yep. put them on the plate, and we are going to put a cover on these and store them on some heat so they stay warm. So once we've got these four eggs into the bowl, we're going to go ahead and whisk them around just with a fork until they get nice and stirred up, all mixed together. And he says to cook these on um, a light heat, so we're gonna do about three, three and a half. Yep. He also uses a pretty good sized chunk of butter. He doesn't mention how much it is, so it's about the same size as we used uh, for the Gordon Ramsay recipe. Yep. And that goes straight in the pan by itself and starts to heat yep. up before we add the eggs. And so the eggs are looking, I don't know if you can see that. Here, put it under there. They're looking nice and stirred up. So now he just adds a little bit of salt to the eggs. And I think we actually mentioned before that he adds pepper, but he doesn't actually put any pepper. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir that around a little bit more. And now these are ready to go in. So. And it's interesting because um, Jamie Oliver actually makes three different egg recipes. He does an English, a French, and an American version. Yeah. And they almost, I think they all use like exactly the same ingredients, but the only difference is how he cooks them. And yeah. he says that they all turn out tasting quite different. The consistency is certainly different. That's like obvious to see when you're watching the video. But he also says that they taste different just by cooking them differently. So anyway, this is the English version. It's the closest version to what Gordon Ramsay is doing. So we're doing this so we can compare apples to apples or That's right. scrambled eggs to scrambled, to scrambled eggs. eggs. <laughs> so unlike Gordon Ramsay, we actually leave this on the heat until they're done. And I guess we just kind of stir them around until they yep. become scrambled eggs. Right. And he does um, turn the heat off um, for the last maybe 30 seconds or so mm -hmm. um, to let them cook uh, just with the residual heat in the pan. These might take a little bit longer than the Gordon Ramsay ones because the heat is much lower. That's right. We'll see how that goes. So those are getting pretty close. Yeah, they're looking good. Um, I think Jamie Oliver's eggs are a little bit more well done than Gordon Ramsay's, but yeah. still not quite as much. So I think maybe we'll take them off now and let yeah. them just cook at the bottom of the pan for I'd the rest of the time. I'd say take them off. Turn the heat off here. And I don't know how he did it, but he had pieces that were pretty cooked and then there was still some runniness. Yeah. Kind of like when you uh, fry an egg and you leave the yolk runny. Kind of looked like that. I don't know if we really achieved that, but... I'm not sure, we'll see. But he does say to put it all on the side of the pan like this mm -hmm. and just let it sit there for, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds or so. So we're gonna do that. And we'll be back in a minute when they're all ready. All right, so Jamie Oliver's eggs are done. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put them over here and let's see what they look like compared to Gordon Ramsay's. So I'd say the Gordon Ramsay eggs look a bit more like barf, whereas the <laughs> Jamie Oliver ones are a bit more what I'm used to. The green chunks don't really help it. Do they, they don't, and the consistency, but. It looks kind of like grits almost. Yeah, let's hope that yeah. it doesn't taste like barf. So we've got both of 
Gordon Ramsay and Jamie Oliver's eggs done. I yeah. actually put my hands in the wrong way. <laughs> Other way, but we're about to go taste them to see who is the better chef. All right, let's go do it. All right, we've got the finished product here. We've got Gordon Ramsay on this side and Jamie Oliver over here. And as we mentioned, these are looking pretty weird. Weird. Compared and to what we're used to. I almost want to eat this with a spoon. Soft. <laughs> they do put this on toast, which I'm yeah. thinking probably makes a difference. Um, but we're going to eat it just by Ooh, itself so it we can tell which smells one. smells quite good. Oh, really? Dropped it onto the wrong plate. Mm, all, right, all right, I'm going to take a bite. Let's go. Okay. If you're not I used like to runny that. eggs, then it is definitely a little bit strange at experience, mm. but it does taste really good. No, I really like that. That is at mm. least much higher quality than the scrambled eggs I make. Can you imagine putting that on some toast? Oh, that would be really tasty. That would be very tasty. All right, Gordon Ramsay did a good job. They, yeah, he did a very good job. Well, we did a good job. We did a great job. Following Gordon Ramsay. That's right. Okay. All right, now time for Jamie Oliver. Hmm. Okay, um, again, I think putting it on toast, especially butter toast, would make a big difference here. Um, they're just a lot more plain, aren't they? Yeah, they are, but as you can imagine, they would be because he doesn't have pepper in there, he doesn't have creme fraiche. Creme fraiche. And he uses less salt, it seems like. Yeah. It's still good, and it is also still runnier than what I'm used to, softer, actually. And it's this not... is a lot more like the scrambled eggs that I make. Mm -hmm. These are completely weird, but the fact that they're so weird and I still really like them, for me, <laughs> I think something. Gordon Ramsay's got to win. <laughs> yep. Now, I do like these. I think these are maybe yeah. a little bit better than the eggs I usually make, and that's probably because of all the butter. Yeah. Um, they are tasty, but this is a much more complex flavor if right. you like, um, you know, something a little bit mm. more than normal. It is really, really good. Mm. I think especially that sour cream is what really does it. And the chives also I, really help yeah, with the flavor. Yeah, I really taste the chives. Well, Gordon Ramsay versus Jamie Oliver. Gordon Ramsay. Yes. I guess he's the best chef because- You are officially the best chef. Well, makes, at least out of Jamie right. Oliver. <laughs> he makes the best eggs, so he's the best chef. That's right. This is going to be the end of the video. We hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We'll see you next week. See ya.